My name is Brett Lampson, um, born and raised uh, out here in uh, Santa Clarita, and uh, I've been married about four years. I have a year and a half old daughter, uh, Camila, and uh, we actually got the news recently. We, we have a, another baby on the way, so, so uh, very grateful for that. So I started coming to Grace Baptist when I was about 10 years old uh, with my family. And, uh, you know, I was involved in, in a youth group. After high school and throughout my 20s, I actually, uh, like, fell away a lot. My eyes weren't, like, open to it, so I didn't, I don't think I really saw my need for a savior, knew what Jesus really did. Yeah, there was a certain point where I knew, like, where I kind of, like, drew the line in the sand, like, coming from someone who just, like, would, you know, just plug in like once a month and just kind of come in and like getting what I could get and not really like, you know, giving back or, you know, building relationships. So I think my mom played like a part in it because growing up, my mom was always like the spiritual like anchor in our family. It's been really great for, for our relationship. She's like, you know, of course, very, you know, happy that like one of her kids is saved and uh, you know, loves Jesus, and it's been like a great bonding for us because that's something we, we discuss a lot. We'll like share sermons with each other or, you know, talk about um, certain like Bible passages. And a couple years ago, I started coming back uh, pretty pretty regularly, and I was watching like a lot of sermons on, on YouTube from like various pastors. It was actually, uh, like a little like sermon series from from Pastor John MacArthur and uh, Saved or Self Deceived, and it was on specifically like Matthew seven like thirteen through twenty three. I realized that was me, you know that that I feel like my current condition that you know I would hear depart from me. I never knew you, and um, I kind of had like a a breakdown moment. I felt like I was you know, regenerate because I felt the need to not want to do certain things that I used to love to do, but I was just being like disobedient and just like like giving in to my, my flesh, fleshly desires. So this last year has been a, a very, very eventful year, I would say, than, than other years. I feel like I've had a lot, a lot of spiritual growth this year. So my wife is still currently an unbeliever, but I got to say that they're they're the greatest blessing. Uh, my wife and my daughter feel totally undeserving, and you know, a, as a new believer and wanting to to share my faith with uh, c certain loved ones, that um, it's going to be more uh, caught than taught, and that um, you know, because the, the people you know and love the most, they they know you the most, and so of course when you're, you know, have this big life change, they, they might not understand. Um, so just demonstrating the, the Christ -like likeness and, and just loving them like, like you know, uh, Christ, Christ loves us. After a service, I, I went and found uh, Pastor Aaron Miller and I reached out to him and uh, just kind of told him what, what I was going through and I knew that I wanted to get like plugged in with with Grace Moore, so he he actually plugged me in with the with the ABF um, small group, and then soon after I started going to a, a men's Bible study, and it was it was just uh, like more than than anything I, I could have thought. It was just very refreshing um, being with other believers and and praying for. Um, for like my fellow uh, brothers and sisters and, and being prayed for, because that was something I never really uh, like experienced before in, in my Christian life. So to have a, a, a group of, of believers and, and friends to, to meet with on a weekly basis, to, to check in with each other and, and pray for each other is, is very encouraging. So to encourage the Grace family this morning, I would just say how, how important it is to to get plugged in with a small group or or a bible study and to to be with the church body and and have people that, that you can pray with and and be prayed for and 
you never know how how you might be able to to encourage someone or or vice versa.